Sports have been around for many years. In the 1800s, people have started playing games with the ball made from only clothes in which they kicked around all over the place, and that was the birth of a legendary and a beautiful game. For many, it's soccer, but since it's developed in Europe, it's known as football. Here in the United States, soccer has been one of the most popular sports in recent years. Compared to American football, it is said to be the fourth popular sport in the United States. This is the following chart based on a Nielsen survey conducted in more than 20 international markets shows where people are particularly fond of the global game and where interest in football is limited at the best. According to FIFA, 3.2 billion people watched at least one minute of the World Cup coverage on TV in 2018, a number that will likely be matched by this year's tournament in 2022 in Qatar. Today, I'm currently here at the Palm Desert campus of San Bernardino, in which I am going to interview Juan Murillo, a former coach who currently coaches for the Palm Desert campus soccer club and has coached many clubs in the past and also currently coaches the girls soccer team for the Palm Desert High School and also coaches for his son's youth eight soccer team. At the school. I've been working at the school since 2014 and uh, I started coaching soccer here since 2015, so just a year after starting. So it's been approximately seven years coaching, eight years working at the PDC as a staff member. Wow, so you've been working here for a while. What, what made you like start coaching? Just a love for the sport. I've uh, played soccer my whole life, so I, I really wanted to still be involved, you know, even after playing, and so coaching was one way to do it. Here is current student Miguel Ayala talking about Coach Juan's abilities, his tactics, and his ways of inspiring and motivating his students. He is grateful for being a part of the team under Coach Juan's supervision. I feel like there couldn't have been anybody better to coach it, honestly. Um, so I've been with the club since I started. And even then, like a year before that, I had started going to like their practices and stuff. Um, because of my brother, he invited me over there. And it was fun just, like, being around him. Um, he has um, really good coaching skills. I know now he's moved on. Not moved on, but he's also coaching high school, high school girls soccer team. So it's pretty cool that he's able to, like, um, expand his skills and demonstrate them in other places as well. Although Coach Murillo is a soccer coach for Palm Desert High, the, the PDC soccer club, and his son's soccer team, he also encourages students not only to improve in soccer, but to improve in school. School is first, he says. I currently coach here at uh, Cal State San Bernardino uh, Men's Group Women's Club Soccer. I also coach at Palm Desert High School uh, Girls Soccer. And I do uh, at least near and you know other schools where I coach at. You know, uh, athletes are students first, and that uh, you know I have to support them that way first as well. And then, you know, uh, secondly, we do the sport, uh, in this case, soccer. Um, but I, I always try to, uh, always with a lot of respect in between. You know, I like my players to feel comfortable around me, but uh, always, I always like to remind them that, you know, I'm also, I'm also the coach, so I'm also yeah. kind of like an authority figure yeah. there. Yeah. And, you know, Players feel comfortable yeah. around you and the rest of the coaching staff, so they can, you know, perform at their best level. So I'm, a, I'm a big believer of that. Yes, I currently coach in here at uh, Cal State San Bernardino uh, Men's Group Women's Club Soccer. I also coach at Palm Desert High School uh, Girls Soccer. With Coach Juan's outstanding ability of coaching, he continues improving himself not as a coach but as a father. He motivates not only us students but also his kids ages eight and three. He continues coaching his older son, eight-year-old Mateo, and continues to show his younger son the beauty of what sports is all about. He said that it doesn't matter what sport he goes into, he fully supports them as a player of any kind. Uh, coaching uh, at one of the local clubs, it's called FCA, it uh, stands for Fellowship for Christian Athletes, and I coach uh, the boys. Uh, we have uh, two games this weekend in San Bernardino, 
We're playing uh, League Cup, which is a tournament within the Coast League, mm -hmm. where you know they they uh, allow teams from all different uh, divisions to play against each other to try to rank up, you know, between the the, the categories. So we had our first uh, two games of League Cup two weeks ago, and we went up against a uh, undefeated, and we ended up tying our second game, which only meant that we qualified for the next round, right, which mm -hmm. will take place this, this Sunday. And so we're playing um, a team from Santa Barbara, and then we're playing uh, another team from Colton. Wow. So, again, these are a team. Uh, oh, wow. And we actually beat them. Uh, current professor and coach, uh, Coach Damian Palafox, explains that soccer isn't just a sport. It's something more deep than that. He explains that Juan's relationship is very strong when they began playing soccer. Therefore, soccer can make those connections into the next level, which they f are formed by not only playing together, but also bonding together. Although being here for plus 10 years, uh, Coach Juan has no intentions of changing ideas, paths, or even going to a different school anytime soon in his career. He currently enjoys interacting with students, professors, and staff, and families because he believes that providing smiles, encouraging others is his calling for life. Yes, yes, I really want to stay here. I, I think it's a great place. I really enjoy it. I like my uh, co-workers, so I, I'm really having a fun time. For me, um, one of the really important things is, you know, just staying or, uh, you know, just always close to the students and, you know, making sure that I don't forget that, you know, our 2014 uh, boys, so that they're eight years old. Eight years old. Oh, no, no, yeah. A little, a little younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good group that we have. And in our league, we're currently in second place. And I think it's going really well. So we started our first two games. Uh, first one we lost, and then the second one we tied. Yeah. And then we won every single game after that. Uh -huh. So, again, this is the first year that we this group of kids is playing uh, club league. Uh -huh. And so I think it's going really well. And uh, the, the idea is to stay with this group as, you know, they start yeah, yeah. moving higher into different age categories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they uh, keep growing as a group school for more than 20 years coaching girls soccer out there mm -hmm. uh, invited uh, myself and another coach mm -hmm. Patrick Alpen out with JV mm -hmm. and he didn't tell us when he first invited us but his plan was to retire and he was kind of just teaching us and kind of looking at how we work to ensure that someone would stay and you know continue the program you know after he left yeah. so that after that first year that we were there with him he announced retirement which was big news because again he, he's been working at the school for over 20 years, 20 years. He's coaching the girls soccer team for over 10 years so he's really built a legacy out there and for uh coach oliver who's the other uh palm desert high school girls soccer coach mm -hmm. and myself it's a it's a big deal you know taking over such a a big uh program uh pdhs is one of the uh, uh stronger teams in the uh desert empire league and so we are the former uh Desert Empire League champion. champion. Coach Juan is a very proud and aspiring coach. He's not only proud to himself, but to his players due to the amount of effort and teamwork they always provide in every game. Last season, they were able to win the season champ title in the Desert Valley League with his Palm Desert High School soccer girls team. Very good teams mm -hmm. in uh, Desert Empire League. I, I want to say most of them are actually really, really good. Uh, you have teams like... Uh, the High School, Shadow Hills, and uh, Palm Springs High School, which are yeah. uh, really competitive teams. Yeah. Uh, last season, it really came to the uh, very last game for us to, you know, finish off as champions. So um, that was really, really fun, and I hope we can just repeat again this year.
Juan has been in, at the school for many years and hopefully continues to be here for a very long time. All of our students, staff, soccer players, and kids really appreciate of what he does and how he inspires mentors and coaches towards others. He continues working hard and winning championships the day by day, week by week, month by month, and year by year. Hopefully, Coach Juan continues working hard and grows on whatever his goals is and continues playing and coaching soccer.